Hi, this is part two of Wendy's Chief Architect Annotation Sets. What I have on screen is a couple, several files. One is a layout file showing layout boxes with displaying plans as I think probably you would using some new annotation sets. I've got the plan file that goes with them and I have the pre-change same model but uh, before we did all that. So awesome. So let's have a look. What I've done is I have made changes to Chief's template the way it ships to fix what I believe is a little confusing and or incomplete. So let's just go into the plan file and have a look. And I'm going to use this layer set management. What I've done is I've added layer sets that are called working, client review, and roof framing. These I began with a dash because they really are just different than what Chief does. I've left the default set because I want you to be able to import annotation sets into work that you've already done and I think excuse me I think most people are using that default set for their construction drawings so that's the assumption I've made this one doesn't begin with a dash I wanted to just you know make it close related to the regular framing set and only address the reason we have a separate roof one is if you so if you need to show your ceiling framing separately they're both on the top floor so that's why I did that. Although you could put your roofs up on the attic and do it that way. But most people, I think, are leaving it on the upper floor. So I put a set in there to do that. Everything else, I've kept the same layers, but I've changed them a little bit in some cases. Just turned some layers off and on. And client review is so that you have a set layer set to display things at a different scale or with less information than your construction drawings because most homeowners when you're asking them to review a set of drawings they don't understand a lot of what's in construction drawings anyway and then a working set I showed you that in the first video how I might do that so within those let's um, let's edit the working set to see those were the layer sets I added, and within those, I added these layers, client review, roof framing, and working. And that's it. I really didn't add anything else because I wanted to keep this simple. So let's go click through in some of these and see. So my quarter inch scale CDs shows one kind of information. My uh, working model one that's what shows maybe my plants and my driveway and my sun shadows and some things that might just want to be in here so that I have them this is a 30 by 30 box so this would tell me that it doesn't clear the toilet you know but I don't necessarily want to show this on it you know we have our little code distance here and I don't necessarily want the dimensions that I want want for might want for design are not necessarily what I want for construction drawings. For construction drawings, this is probably going to be we're going to fur this in first of all, but you know it's probably going to be at a different scale. Probably don't want the roof edge on there, but you know it's going to be different. It's going to be to the center of wall, to the outside face of framing. It's it's just going to be different. So that's how we do that. So let's go over it to one that's unchanged and see how we would do that. And uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to close out of the layout and I'm going to do a split screen. All right. So the finished ones, remember, we had working and client review layers. So let's working and client review. So over here, we're going to make those. And I like to la make any layer sets I'm going to need first and then make the annotation set. So I can come in here. I can copy this working. 
that makes one. I'm going to copy that. Uh, actually, you know what? Before I copy that one, I'm going to go turn off some text and dimension layers because remember, I'm making my own. And in my working set, that's where I'm doing modeling and stuff. I probably don't want those. Dimension. And I don't want necessarily these. And I do want to make my new layers that were Anno working and Anno client review. And if you remember right, I'd made one for Anno roof framing. So I'm just making those layers. Then let's undo that name filter because for this one, my working set, I don't want those on. I only want that on. And you know what? I'm going to make it blue just because I can. Now notice, I just made that layer set. It does not change to it unless I change to it. All right, now we're going to go copy this one and we're going to make this one say client review and we're going to change the annotation layer that's on. For framing, I'm going to go copy the framing set for my roof framing one. Did I already make that? I didn't. Working, working, yep, so copy roof framing. So what I'm doing is I'm picking the one that's closest. Roof. And in there I definitely don't want any of those on. Oh actually I do. I want the roof framing one on but I don't want my regular framing dimensions on probably. I probably don't even want any of those. And text I don't want the regular framing text on because I've made my own. So that sets up some layers. Now we go over here to our annotation set control and we make some of these. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just make one because I made all the other ones. Um, although when I go up and down the list I'm going to show you a couple other changes that I made. I did change NKBA to use the kitchen and bath set because I think that's what it needs. And then I took this quarter inch. Let's say, okay, let's go over here first and take a look. So what I did was I took the quarter inch one and I renamed it to have CDs because I think it's very confusing to just have these be. So I left eighth inch and half unchanged. And everything else, in addition to the scale, is specific in the name about what it's for. So we're going to go do the same thing. Notice this. Everything else is unchanged. Okay, fine. And here's how we do it. We just go here and we just change it. CDs. Awesome. Um, I am also changing this to use the default set. Because remember we said, I'm assuming most people are sticking pretty close to how Chief ships. And most people, if you open it up and you just start drawing, you're drawing on the default set. So we're going to leave that that way. There we go. Then if we want to, say, make the 8th inch annotations, well, let's see. Let's see what I did in here. So I made um, my working model. I made my 8th inch be client review. So it's a copy of it and the working model. So we're only going to do one of these together and then you'll be able to source it from the others. Oh, notice this too. When you make an annotation set, it does not automatically change to it. You have to go and do it. Notice also that it's still, it's a copy of this. So I'm going to use my layer hider to go turn off all the stuff that I don't really want to see. I don't need things like that on and I don't really want my living area label. So, and I probably would want my electric on a separate one. So this is where these layer tools come in is that you can, you can use that layer hider to just reduce, reduce until you have only what you want to see on there. 
So let's go and make a copy of this one. And I'm going to make this for, you know what, now I forgot already <laughs> what I did. Let's go back here. All right, I did my working model at quarter inch. Okay, so we are going to copy this annotation set and call it working model. And then I would come down here and do each one of these. I'm making a copy. When I make a copy, it brings up the defaults to edit it. And primarily what I'm going to go change is I'm going to change the layer that it puts that text on to my working one. And you know what, while I'm here, I'm going to make it red because I just like it. And I want to make sure, let's see, so I'm changing to that layer. I'm changing the layer set to it. So let's go back in there. Ah, I want to look here to see if it's on. I'm going to make it red. There. So now I've got the correct layer that I want. The text is the right size for a quarter inch drawing. That's awesome. Then we go through here. And what, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put the, let's see, set up. Where did we go? Can I... I'm going to put working on my clipboard. There we go. I'm going to copy the rich text. Make sure it's the same word. Appearance. Put it on that layer. Awesome. Text. I don't like the word default because it's implied. Go there. Change it. You notice why I put them at the top? put it on the same one. I'm not even going to bother with my callouts and markers because you know what? I'm not going to do any work with callouts and markers in that. I'm not going to bother with arrow because as we said before, it doesn't have anything to do with a layer and I have my layer set. And let's check that it's doing what I want. Working model. So that looks right. That looks right. There we go. And I'm going to test it by putting some text on and seeing that it goes in the right place and I'm going to test it by just dropping in a dimension and seeing that it goes right there. So now if I was editing this and I wanted a dimension to have the inside of this room, I could have that. Notice that that goes to the surface. Because this is completely separate, I could, if I want, come here and have it go to the surface which is what I did. So that if I'm working quickly and I know exactly what kind of space I need, I'll have that right there. Especially important to note, in here, when you change in dimensions, your locate objects, it only affects newly placed dimensions. The layer, any of that, it only affects newly placed dimensions. It will not change dimensions you put in prior even using the same annotation set. Only new stuff. The only way to affect old stuff is to edit the text style. Since they're that style, if I want these to be shorter, I could edit this and come in and make it smaller and it would change that. But I'm not going to do that. Let me put that back because I don't want to confuse you because I left it the other way. Okay? And that's how you edit them. You go in and you just, you can pick one and copy it and you can change what layer. So let's see what else we did in here. So the other ones in here, I made an eighth inch scale client review set that I put on a client review layer and all the text is bigger so that when I am doing client review stuff, it's at a scale that can print on 8.5 by 11 paper or whatever. We should probably put a door on this closet while I'm looking at it.
just because. Uh, let's see. The other thing I put in this one was I put in a separate one for section elevation. You can use all the same things. Let's do one right here. So it defaults to use active defaults, but then what layer is it going to put any text on? So I can come here to my CDs and anything. Matter of fact, I have a saved section that I demonstrated this with. Let's go find it. Window, 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 view. Where the heck is my project browser? All right. So I saved a front section. There we go. So for my, if I have my quarter inch scale CDs for section elevation, and the only reason I made a separate one is so that I could tie it to a different layer set because that's the way I work. I tie to the layer set because I'm too lazy to, and too addle brained to change this and then remember to change that. So if I'm putting text on that's for my CDs, text for CDs, awesome. It's going in the right place. Or if I'm in there in my working model and I want to keep an eye on, say, my maximum height, I put a line in at the base, I put it a line in the top, let's say I have a maximum height there. I can have this here to work and not affect what prints. All sorts of guidelines, notes, whatever I need. So there we go, and that's what's going to be in the plan file. So I think, let's do one more thing. File. Once we have these, we can then export. You know what? Uh, hmm. Yeah, we're going to do that now. File, export, export annotation sets. Wendy example one. Let's bring this box inside. I'm just doing that. Save. Save. Yes. And I'm going to go, I'm going to close this one, not save it and open it again. Because this is, oh, I'm going to open one called before import. So before import, we've kind of got a cluster fluff here of all kinds of things. You notice that things didn't change. If we do this, we got all that stuff. Watch this. File, import, import annotation set, open. Now watch carefully. Never, ever just click through this. You want to slow down and make sure you know what you're doing. I want to overwrite the existing defaults because I changed a couple of them that shipped OOB to make them better. We don't want to rename duplicates because that's going to give you a double set and that's going to be confusing. You want to replace and replace. Make sure you know renaming will make a duplicate. Use existing layer sets will keep the old layer set definition. So all those updates we did where the default set doesn't show your sun shadow won't be there. So replace, replace, replace. So now look, there's my quarter inch scale CDs. There is my quarter inch scale working model where I have all my garbage if I want it. And if I put text on, it's on that layer. I have my framing that is, here's my ceiling framing separate from my roof framing. Um, I would probably, I didn't finish this, I'd probably want to go and turn off the appliances in the roof framing, but you know what, you're big boys and girls, you can do that. So that gives you a pretty nice set and that's how it works. That's a starter set. Okay, bye.